stunning Nyala bull. And with him being right out in the open like this, you can see those tan legs, which really do set him apart from other antelope. I mean, those tan legs and those the charcoal black body that's got that silver mane down the down the back and down the legs. And the oxpecker there too. <laughs> And just like the magpie shrikes, the oxpeckers are also communal breeders. I also saw something moving there, mister. I think it might have been a bird flying in. No, I think it was a hornbill. What you often find with these communal breeders is that they have chicks who will help to rear the next set of chicks. And that actually increases the chances of survival for the oxpecker chicks or whichever chicks you're talking about. And a surprising amount of animals, or, or birds should I say, actually do do that. Some animals also will do that. But it means that the, the offspring doesn't need to go and find a territory. Maybe if there's a few mates, they don't need to. I think that could have been the Ritz's helmeted shrike. I am hearing them calling. I didn't actually see the, a number of dart birds, also a communal breeder cooperative breeder, so I keep saying communal, it's actually cooperative. Yeah, I can hear them now. <laughs> Getting annoyed with those oxpeckers.